you any questions. Why don't you stop right now? Let that okay. The ideal position is to have both my hands inside his arms, wrapped over each other just like that. I want my forearms into his chest and my elbows down. Okay. And you notice. Come all the way over his head, and one guy just under the base of the head. The higher I go up, the more I can crank his head down, the more I can damage his neck. Right? The lower, it's just, you know, it's not such a severe thing, but it's easier to grab down here, and then you kind of transition up if you need to. So, what we're going to do. Okay. Okay, now he wants to keep me from getting the same position. So he wants to put his elbows into my chest and kind of squeeze them together. So now I can't come up through the middle. Right? If I'm trying to clinch and I can't come up through the middle, I'm going to come up over the top. Right? I just create space. When I create space, reach in, now I've got my clinch. Okay? It doesn't happen that way. Right? Maybe I come in here and I just lock. From here, I can still knee. Right? If I can keep him from advancing his position or improving his clinching position, I can survive. Now, one dangerous part here. Okay. People sometimes do this. If you're going, now he's obviously got pretty good arms, so I could be able to do this to him in real life. But I have people where they'll clinch in here, and I can collapse. Now, especially with a boxing glove, when I collapse here, this hand isn't coming out. Okay? So you need to be careful about where you put that hand in, in the clinch if you're trying to you know, disrupt what your opponent's doing. Because once I've sunk down here, and I've got his arm locked. I can lift this elbow up, and there's nothing he can do to stop me now. He can't get the arm back out. And really, what he needs to focus on probably is trying to get the arm back out. But what he should be focused on is me and me in the hell. <laughs> okay? So when we reach in, right, I don't really want to reach all the way over here. I want to reach right to his face. I want to push his chin back, right? Or maybe even push him in the throat, push him on his head. I need it. I'm trying to gain space. So I don't want to reach over here because once I do, now he's going to collapse. I don't want to be there. I don't want to be there. Okay? Sucks. <laughs> so I'm trying to create space. If I can create space, I'm going to sneak up inside. Maybe I end up just one arm in. But now I've got leverage where I can create. He's going to try and create space too. Right? I'm going to try and keep him off balance and try and fight. Do not get so caught up in what you're doing with your arms that you forget to use your legs. That'll happen. Don't get so caught up in just throwing knees and thinking about how you're going to land that knee strike. You don't think about, you don't feel what's going on up at the top. Okay? Clenching is, what I love about clenching is you can do it with your eyes closed. You shouldn't even have to see your opponent, you can just feel what they're doing. So, right now, what we're going to do is each of you is going to start, <laughs> each of you is going to start with one arm in, one arm out. Okay? And from here, we're just going to go. Okay, so I'll go. Alright, we're just going to go. <laughs> We're just going to work back and forth. We're going to start off with no resistance. Okay? After a couple minutes, I'll tell you, all right, and then I want you guys to resist a little bit. And, and when we resist, we're always going to try and maintain inside position. So if I'm here, and I'm going to resist, I'm trying not to let him in. All right? So he needs to figure out another way to get in. <laughs> all right? It's a chest match. Let's go. Okay, with your partner, this is what we're going to do. We're going to be in tight. I want you to throw an elbow. I want the partner to cover and just block it. Both hands up. Boom. When the block comes, you're going to extend your arm out, reach around behind their head, and pull them in. Okay? That's all we're going to do for right now. We're just going to throw elbow to this block, reach in and grab. Okay? <coughs> elbow to the stop, reach in, grab and pull in. Okay. We do this, this thing, um, call it breaking the guard. In your, in your fighting stance. Right. So I come in here with an uppercut elbow, right, when I come up, bring the hand right here on the side of my head. Uppercut elbow between his hands. If he blocks it, that's great. I scoop his hands out of the way, throw the other elbow over the top, breaking the guard. Elbow in. Elbow Let's in. first start with the upper, uppercut elbow. We're going to step forward, take the lead hand, and just swing it up. Bring the hand to the base of your own neck and just cover it, right? Use your legs to push up and push forward. Uppercut elbow, scoop. And then round elbow. So if I scoop, there's nothing to hit me because I move the hands out of the way. So I don't have to worry about keeping my hand in front of my face this one instance. Uppercut elbow, scoop the hands out of the way, round elbow. 
come down with the round elbow because you want to exploit the fact that you clear that space to attack them. Be like push, push, kick, cross, kick, or push, kick, cross, hook, knee. Something like that. Jab, cross, kick, first, first drill. Jab, cross, kick. Roll. Jab, cross, kick. Okay. What I want you to focus on with this drill, jab, cross. As soon as you hit the right hand, throw the right kick. Alright? Jab, cross, kick. I should hear it just like that. Jab, cross, kick. I don't want to hear Okay? Let's go. Jab, cross, kick. Push, kick, follow them in, and cross. Okay? We're just going to work that back and forth. Push, kick, cross. Push, kick, cross. Alright? Let's go. Here. She throws her jab. Alright? I'm just going to parry it. So jab, parry. All I do is slap it out of the way. <coughs> Right? I don't want to see this.